This is another example of working with vectors and trying to determine if these vectors span some space. So we're going to work with the vectors v1 and v2 again, and we're asking ourselves a very similar question that we asked in the previous video. We want to know, does the set of vectors v1 and v2, does it span r2? And in the previous video, we already discussed what it means to span r2. It means that any arbitrary vector from r2 can be written as a linear combination of the vectors v1 and v2. So what we're trying to determine is, is this equation true? Can I find some number x1 and multiply v1 by it? Find some number x2 and multiply v2 by it, add those up. Can I get ab in general for any arbitrary ab that I have selected as a vector from the space r2? I can take this equation and write it as an augmented matrix. So here's the augmented matrix for this system of equations. And if we solve this augmented matrix, or try to solve this augmented matrix, we can try to solve for what x1 and x2 are equal to. If we can find x1 and x2 to make this equation 2, then we say that the vectors v1 and v2 span r2. If we can't find x1 and x2, then the vectors v1 and v2 don't span r2. So let's do a few simple manipulations. Let's let do the row operation e2 equals e2 plus 2 times e1. So that's going to get us a 0 right here, because a negative 2 plus 2 times 1 is 0. Equation 1 remains unchanged, obviously, because we're only working on row 2 right now. I'll get a 0 here as well, because 4 plus 2 times a negative 2 is 4 minus 4, which is 0. And then in this entry here, I'm going to get b plus 2a, because I'm applying this row operation equation to the second row. So we've done one row operation to work on our augmented matrix, and already we see something different happen compared to the previous video. If I look at this equation right here, this equation, this row from the augmented matrix, is really the equation 0x1 plus 0x2 equals b plus 2a, which is another way of saying 0 equals b plus 2a. Now, that is obviously not true for all values of a and b. If a and b happen to be 0, that's true, because I'd have 0 equals 0. Or if b happens to equal a negative 2a, that would be true. But in general, this equation is not true for, any, for all values of a and b. For example, if I chose a equals 1 and b equals 1, I chose the vector 1, 1 out of the space r2, then this quantity would be 1 plus 2, which is 3, and my equation as a whole would say 0 equals 3, which is obviously false. So we've encountered a contradiction in trying to solve for x1 and x2 for arbitrary values for a and b. So that means that there is no solution in general to this system of equations. There are solutions for some particular values of a and b, but not for all values of a and b. So that means that these vectors do not span r2. We could not find x1 and x2 in general to make this equation true. So these vectors do not span r1 and r2. I'm sorry, these vectors do not span the space R2. And it should be somewhat obvious why this is true. If we go back up here and look at the vectors that were chosen, V1 and V2 are related to each other. We can actually get V2 from V1 if we multiply V1 by a negative 2, right? Take V1 and multiply that by a negative 2. 1 times a negative 2 is a negative 2, and a negative 2 times a negative 2 is 4. So even though we have two vectors here, they are very much literally dependent on each other. v1 and v2 are really the same vector, just scaled by a number. So since we really only have one vector here, one vector can't span r2. We need two independent vectors to span r2. And we'll talk about independence of vectors in other videos. But for now, we've figured out that these vectors v1 and v2 do not span r2.